Look at this sick little aquarium. Do a little feeding real quick. Let's see. Oh, oh my gosh. That is so sick. Literally the size of my hand. And look how pretty he is. Oh my gosh. That would be insane for the pond. It's literally a two headed turtle. Oh yeah, now you see his colors a yeah, lot nice better. Green. That thing is so sick. We are here at Aquatic and Exotic, about to head in and see what they got. Look at this. Right when we walk in, they got a whole bunch of Mata Mata turtles right here. Ours actually is about the same size as that guy right there. But look how pretty they are. So cool. One of the coolest turtles for sure. These are pretty cool. What the? Look at them. Got like a cool shell to them. Some little monitors. These guys are one of my favorite lizards. So cool. They have so much personality. Look at them. Kind of looks like Paul. I don't know if you guys remember Fred and George, the two headed red eye slider. But there he is right there. And look how big he's gotten. Or they've gotten. Fred and George have gotten really, really big. There's a good shot on them. It's literally a two headed turtle. Big old saltwater aquarium. Look at this thing. Bunch of coral tangs. So pretty. If I had to do a big old community tank, it would be just like this. Now to one of my favorite parts of the place, the fish department. Look at how many fish tanks there are to look some. We got salt water over here. We got fresh water over there. We're gonna pretty much go from tank to tank. It's a little loud, so bear with me on the audio. Got a little porcupine puffer. Really, really cool. These guys, when they blow up, they literally have spines all over them. That's like a legit puffer fish you see in like movies and stuff, but there he is. He's got blue eyes. And then down here is actually a different species of puffer. This is a dog face puffer, and if he turns around now, you can kind of see why they call him a dog face puffer, because he literally has a face of a dog. Oh, some bumblebee groupers. Look at these guys. There's so many. There's another one right here. Really, really pretty colors on them. Got some little community fish. We got the purple dotty back. Got a little angel fish, Niger trigger down there. That's literally one of my favorite trigger fishes. The blue on them is so pretty. And then right up here, we got some big old lining fish. Look at those spines. And they're actually very, very venomous, so you definitely don't want to get your hand by them. Look at this cichlid aquarium. It's like a 300 gallon full of monster cichlids. We got Frondosa right there. Look at how pretty this is. Insane. So right here we got a green moray. Now you can't really see his colors right now because the lighting's not the best, but if he comes out in the front here, you can see that bright green. And these are one of my favorite eels ever. I see them all around Jupiter. They're absolutely everywhere. We've actually had them go in the fish traps before, monster-sized ones. Let me know in the comments down below if you remember the monster green moray eel trying to go into the fish trap. There's a baby one right back there, and these guys get up to like eight feet. They are one of the biggest eels you can literally get. Well, there's his head. You can kind of see him now. Look at him. So cool. Yeah, we're definitely getting this guy. I've never seen them in pet stores before. I've only seen them in the wild. So this is my first time seeing one in the pet store, and I think we are going to get it. So pretty. Oh my gosh, that's sick. That green moray is definitely an option. We're gonna keep looking around though, see what else they got. They always have new stuff here at Aquatic and Exotic, so we're just gonna look around and give you guys a little tour. We got a nice little reef tank right here, full of coral. Look at this, we got some chromies at the top there. That is a beautiful tank. Now over to the freshwater. We got a little peacock bass. They always have like a little angry face towards them. And then we got some royal clown knife right here. Pretty fish. Big old catfish down here. Hey, buddy. Hey there, buddy. That would be cool in Paul's Pond. Ooh, that would be sick in Paul's Pond. Big old albino catfish. Look at all these cichlids. There's cichlids for days, literally. I mean, I'm gonna let you guys comment down below. Guess how many cichlids are in these three tanks? Whoever gets it right, Gets a shout out. These guys are really, really cute. Little freshwater puffer fish. So cool. If you have a freshwater tank and you like salt water too, but you can't get salt water, you might as well go with a freshwater puffer fish. Holy cow. Look at the size of these goldfish. These are like ultra mega bingos. Only the OGs remember bingo. Look at that. The goldfish got a piece of grass in his mouth. Look at this. Little black eyed tree frogs. Not red eyed, but black eyed. They're really, really cute. Look at the size of this anemone. That's gotta be the biggest anemone I've ever seen in my life. And I'm pretty sure that's an anemone. And then this clownfish is even huge. It's almost, oh my gosh. Some of these fish probably are like 10 plus years old. I guarantee this guy right here is 10 years old plus. Look at this little mini saltwater aquarium that actually works. Oh, I think I just got an idea there. We are getting the green moray eel. He's in here somewhere. I don't know where he went. But he's definitely, oh, there he is, right back there. We're gonna get a bag ready and get this guy backed up. Little guy, but he's gonna get big, for sure. And we got him. 
into the bag he goes. Once we get him out in the light, we'll be able to see his colors a lot better. We just got our Moray Yield bagged up, but as I was looking at him, I found this monster Niger Trigger. Literally the size of my hand, and look how pretty he is. Oh my gosh, that would be insane for the pong. You know what, you know what, right now, if you guys get this video to 5,000 likes, I promise you I will come back and pick up this Niger Trigger for the pond. And I think that would be a really cool addition because it would switch up the type of fish we have in the pond. And this guy would be swimming a lot more around and we would see him a lot. 5,000 likes. We are leaving aquatic and exotic right now. We got our eel in this bag right here. Can't wait to see what he looks like now that we're actually in the light. Once we get home, we'll be able to take him out of the bag and see his actual colors. See you guys once we get home. All right, we're back home. We got the little green moray eel right here. What we're gonna do is acclimate him first, but before we do that, we're gonna feeding. feed the fish. Do a little feeding real quick. Let's see. Oh, oh my gosh, that is so sick. What is that shark? Board shark. Oh yeah, look who's behind the camera. I was hey. just talking about you earlier. Howdy, about fish. I'm here, howdy. Oh. Heels coming out. Watch, you're gonna see the horn shark munch it. Oh my gosh, that panther is just. Dude, and the, the horn shark? Some. No, watch, dude, he goes crazy. Watch. He's gonna start tearing it up and stuff. Dude, that is so dope. Look at that shark. We're, we're just gonna feed him real quick, just so when we do put the eel in, nothing messes with him. Look how cool that him. thing is, dude. I know, horn shark is definitely, dude, wait till it gets to like four feet. So how much is a shark like that? That is, I got him for like 600, but he's probably, when he gets God. bigger, he'll be mm -hmm. And that lionfish is probably the coolest one I've ever I seen. I know, bro, he's so dark. It's just dark. I don't know if it's because the, the background. Background, yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna find out once we put it oh, in. Oh, he just blends in. Yeah. All right, here we go. Let's get him into this bucket here. We'll be able to get a little better look on him once he's out of the bag. And these are literally one of the smartest eels you can get. They're just like dogs. The closest thing you can get to a dog in like a fish version. Yeah, I mean, Still a little black. He's a little stressed out right now, but once he gets comfortable, his colors will start coming back out. And especially once we get him in the tank and the lighting's a lot better. So let's get the drip line on. Get him acclimated. And then we're gonna give him about 30 minutes and then he's going in the tank. Also, I forgot to mention, but this eel is definitely going into the pond. He's only gonna be in here probably for about two months. And then once he grows a little more size on him, he's 1000% going in the saltwater pool pond. That is the main reason I did buy him, just because, like I said, these eels get enormous. And I'm actually gonna pop up a picture of one, what they look like full grown. And this is gonna go in the pond too. Yep, every, so pretty much this is like a grow out tank. Everything in this aquarium is soon gonna go into the pond. We just have to get a little more size on them because as you guys know, the fish in the pond are absolutely massive and we don't want to take the chances. Anyways, I'm not gonna talk anymore. Let's get this guy acclimated. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> Alrighty. It's raining. <sighs> it is time to get the green more eel into his aquarium for obviously temporary time. He's gonna be in here and then he's soon going to go into the saltwater pool pond. But before I get this guy into the aquarium, I need you guys to drop some names down below because he's definitely going to be a big Wait, part of the how the heck are we getting this thing in? My hands. Okay. I'm just gonna pick him up. It's probably the honestly the best it's way just because the, the nets usually, these, these eels are very slimy and they have a very strong slime coat and the net will pretty much just take all that slime off. So what we're gonna do is wet our hands and then add them to the aquarium. Stand up here, here we go. Look at him, get, get a good shot. Look at him. Oh. oh, I got it, I got him, I got him. Here he goes, here he goes. Oh yeah, now you see his colors a yeah, lot nice better. Green. Oh yeah, that thing is so sick. Oh Dude, that my is... gosh. And once he gets more comfortable, his colors will pop a lot more. So what we're gonna do is probably turn off these lights, give him a day to acclimate, get used to the tank, and then we'll pick the camera back up tomorrow and give you guys a little update on him. Look at that fish. Or is the eel considered a fish? Yeah. Look eel at that fish. fish. Wow, man, that's beautiful. Sonora. Is that what I, I don't know. <laughs> Five hours later. It is a couple hours later. We got our green moray eel in the back here. Now, the rocks are all messed up due to our little horn shark right here. When there's food in the tank, he pretty much goes through all the rocks and pushes them down. So what we're gonna do right now is rescape this thing a little bit, make it a little neater, just so we're able to see the green moray eel a lot more, because I'm seeing his head right now, right back there. See that little green finger thing back there? That is him. So we're gonna rescape this tank, make it a little nicer, and hopefully we're able to see the fish a lot more. All right, now we gotta be careful, but I'm gonna try my best to make this look a lot neater and more like cavey-like. There's our green moray, look at him. 
Look at him right there. Right back there. Oh, he's coming now on this side. All right, let's do it. I just want to make sure um, that it's stable, yeah, so the horn shark doesn't hit it. So what we're going to do is just pretty much tap the rocks as if like a fish would bump into them, and then that pretty much determines whether it would fall or not. There he is. So cool looking. If I can make this work, that'd be pretty cool. I think that looks pretty cool, though. There he is, right there. Keeps hiding right back in these rocks, but I'm trying to get a good shot for you guys. I don't know where he went. Look at him, so sick. And you can kind of see his colors a lot better now. But I mean, that is so cool. The water's a little dirty right now since I stirred everything up, but it will settle pretty soon. And he's right there just swimming all around. I'm pretty sure he's just gonna find a little cave that he's comfortable with, and then he's gonna make that his home. But right now he's pretty active. He's just swimming all around, so. Maybe changing up the rocks was a good idea because now we can see him. Before it was literally impossible to see him. He's gonna be in here probably for about two months until he's big enough to go into the pool pond. Right now he's just a little small so I don't wanna take the chance of him possibly getting eaten. Same pretty much with all the other fish in here. The same thing's gonna happen to them. They're gonna get a little bigger and then they're eventually gonna go into the pool pond. But definitely gonna be one of my favorite additions that we've gotten in a while just because I've been eyeing down a green Morio for so long. Never saw one in the stores, and this is my first time seeing one, so definitely had to make it part of the family. Another cool thing about this eel is that they are one of the smartest eels. They'll actually get to know their owner and memorize him, and then eventually start eating out of their hand, and then even when you walk up to the tank, he'll put like his head out of the water. So that's a pretty cool thing. I've seen them actually in like big aquariums and like museums and stuff like eight foot ones that were fully trained eating out of the trainer's hands and stuff it was so cool so this guy he's a little baby right now but one day he's gonna be a monster green more eel is doing awesome in the aquarium we've had him for now a couple hours and he's showing really really good signs so hopefully overall he does amazing and i definitely will keep you guys updated on him throughout his process Whew, what a awesome day because I really wasn't expecting to run into this guy. I went to Aquatic and Exotic just looking around just because sometimes they get cool stuff like this in and I happened to run into this green moray eel and we ended up making him part of the family. And hopefully one day we can grow him to be a monster eight foot moray eel and I think that would be absolutely insane. So like I said, comment down below a name for our new green moray eel. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and also if you're new to this channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. We do videos pretty much every other day on this channel. Videos like this, catching fish for the aquariums, fish traps, pretty much everything you can think of outdoors we do. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. And with that being said, we'll see y'all in the next one. See ya!